So mum recently sent me a video in 15 pieces, which I like to call Franken video, and asked me to stitch it all together for her and make a watchable video. So here's what I did. Deep in the jungle, you will find a tribe of little old crafters. The chief is called. Hi everyone, it's Anne here, um, aka the mother load. I slowly approach the tribe, do not startle the crafters. And watch as they proceed to make a gorgeous needle book for gifts for Christmas. Um, what I've got here is some little uh, gift idea that I made some of these to give to my friends for Christmas. Like I said, gifts for Christmas. And um, I thought I might make a video just to show you how I put them together. What they are is just a little fabric book which you can keep your pins and needles and sharp things in and um, I just put an assortment of pins in them so that um, they would look nice as a gift. Here's some safety pins. Okay, I'll put that to one side and I'll show you how I made them. I watched on unable to contain my excitement as I learned how to make my own needle book. It's, they're really good for using up scraps, so you'll, you'll like this. I am already enjoying myself immensely. Okay, first of all I got three pieces of felt. Now you don't have to use felt, but I like to use felt because it doesn't fray. And I got two pieces that are the same size, which will be the inside pages, and one piece which is slightly bigger. If I just lay those on top, you can see oh, that one piece is slightly bigger, and that will be the cover. So it doesn't matter what size you make it, as long as your pages, your two pieces for the pages inside the book, are slightly smaller than the cover. So once you've got them cut out, then Find yourself some scraps of uh, lace and you'll need a piece of fabric or a large piece of lace to put as a, um, an inside cover. So I've just got these little bits here which I'm going to use up. Like these. Okay, now the first thing to do is to do the front cover. After declaring that the first thing to do was the front cover, she proceeded to put all of the items on the back cover. And on the front I want to have one of these images from the napkins. Now, if you haven't seen how to make the napkin paper really super strong so you can stitch it, uh, I'll ask Kerry to put a link in the video at the bottom so you can see that first, because these napkin images are now really strong and I can stitch them and they um, you know they, they won't come out they won't fall apart with use okay so the first thing to do is to put on the little cameo picture and the word now I've, I, this is all upside down for me because I'm doing it on the video but make sure when you're doing it that you're going to put them on because your book your book's going to be folded like that and for me this is now the right way up like that so I'm going to stitch them on and then I'll be back in a moment right as you can see I've sewn these on on the sewing machine and I'll just knit these threads off. The next thing that you're going to do is put something on the other side which is going to be the back cover. So I've got this little applique piece here like that. So I'm going to go over to the machine and stitch that on. that. It was at that moment that I realised that there was a mysterious border stitch that she hadn't mentioned. I would need to inquire 
further. Mom, what the f is that? I've inquired with the chief about the strange and mysterious border and have retrieved a video edit to insert here. The piece of lace for the back and just stitch around the edge. Um, so what we have now is the front cover with uh, our picture and our word on the, on the front and our plique on the back and I have stitched that piece of uh, lace fabric onto the inside. I've just stitched all around the edge like that so it can't slip, can't move anywhere. And now I'm going to take my pieces of lace and I'm going to attach those just along the bottom like that. Um, I've got a smaller piece for the sides and maybe that piece will go there. Not sure yet, but anyway, I'll stitch those on and I'll be back in a sec. Right, I've done that. I'll just trim off these edges. I haven't done fancy corners, I've just um, taken them straight down and and stitched over them a couple of times so they don't come undone. Right, there we are. So now what we have is the front cover finished. It's got lace all around the edge, it's got our picture and our word and the thing for the back and on the inside it's got some other fabric, some lace. We're almost finished. All we need to do now is to get the pages, make sure they're together, fold them in half and just mark them with a, a pencil or a piece of chalk, the halfway mark there, like that, and the same with the cover. Do it on the on the inside so you can see it when you're stitching. There and there. Then when you've done that, <coughs> lay the pages on top of the cover so and line up the pencil marks that you made and simply stitch down there with your sewing machine. You've stitched down the middle like that so your book is all together and the pages are secure. Then the final thing to do is to put some extra decoration on the front. I like to use maybe a little bowl and, and maybe a, a little lace flower and I like to use um, a, a pin with a, a charm on it and if you can see that got a little teddy bear on it. Um, yeah, you, you can't really uh, do too much. You, the, the more you put on, the better it looks. So have fun. You can stitch them on by hand or you could just glue them on with some fabric glue. Uh, and I hope you enjoy making them. Uh, if you want any napkins or um, the little pins for holding on the charms, and uh, packs of sorted lace. Um, see Kerry, I uh, think she has them in the shop. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. There you go, Mum. Video edited as requested.